so here we are going to study about what is dfa that is deterministic finite automata so in the previous video you already studied what is uh, in which category dfa belongs to okay so dfa that is deterministic finite automata belongs to finite automata without output okay so you already studied automata two types one is without output okay and another is with output okay so dfa belongs to the category finite automata without output so it is represented by using five tuples dfa is represented by using five tuples suppose i am taking the machine m which is equal to five tuples one is q second is sigma then del q0 f okay so finite automata that is finite automata without output category dfa dfa is represented by using five tuples q sigma del q0 f then what is q what is sigma what is del what is q0 what is f okay so what is q q means finite set of states finite set of states okay so q all the states in a dfa that is q okay there will be one or more states okay then what is sigma sigma means set of input symbols set of input symbols that is sigma then what is del del is the transition function del is a transition function then what will be q0 q0 is the starting state or initial state of the automata there will be minimum there will be only one starting state starting state or initial state then what is f f is set to final states it is not only final state it is set to final states there will be one or more final states in a dfa okay so a dfa is represented by using five tuples q sigma del q0 f q is set finite set of states in dfa sigma is a set of input symbols del is a transition function q0 is a starting state or for initial state and f is the set of final states and we can represent a dfa in two ways okay two ways we can represent dfa one is by using transition table by drawing a table we can represent a dfa another is transition diagram that is by using pictorial representation okay so we can represent a dfa by using a transition table and also by using a transition diagram okay so uh, in case of dfa there will be a particular state present which is known as dead state while seeing example you will understand what is a dead state okay and there will be no empty moves no epsilon moves no epsilon moves you will study what is epsilon move in case of nfa okay just keep in mind that there will be no epsilon moves in case of dfa and there will be dead state in case of dfa okay so i already explained you about the tuples in an dfa okay here i am i told you del means transition function so what is a transition function here in dfa nfa epsilon nfa transition functions are different okay so in dfa the transition function del is q cross sigma equal to q okay q cross sigma equal to q means q means state any state okay any state on a particular input symbol goes to only one state it is moving to only one state okay suppose if i am representing suppose this is our state q0 okay i am i need to go to q1 and our input alphabet is a comma b okay by using a and b okay we can move from one state to another okay so q0 on a suppose goes to q1 q0 on a is going to q1 suppose one more state q2 is here okay so q0 on a is going to q1 suppose i am writing q0 on a is going to q2 also okay so what is the transition function in case of dfa a state on a particular input symbol goes to only one state so a state on a particular input symbol goes to one state here it is not one state on this same symbol it is going to q1 also to q2 okay the symbol is same a okay 
from Q0 on A goes to Q1. Also, Q0 on the same input symbol goes to Q2. But this is not a DFA. Okay, why? As per DFA, the transition function is state on an input symbol is going to one state. Okay, so Q0 on A going to Q1. Okay, it will not go to any other state on transition A from Q0. Okay, if we can draw like this, then it become NFA. That is, a state in case of NFA, non-deterministic finite automata, Q cross sigma gives 2 raised to Q, 2 power Q. Means, a state on an input symbol can go to more than one state. A state on a same input symbol goes to more than one state. On A, it is going to Q1 and also to Q2. So, this is an NFA. So, when you are drawing DFA, you should confirm that a state on a particular input symbol goes to only one state. Okay. If I want to move from Q1 to Q2 on A, this is also possible. Q1 on A goes to Q2 only, not to any other state. Okay. So, whenever you are constructing a DFA, if you are taking every state, you need to show the transition on both input symbol. Okay. If sigma equal to A comma B, every state you need to show the transition on every input symbol. Okay. If it is not properly going from a particular input symbol, then you can move to the dead state. Okay. So, I will explain you what is a dead state. So, this is an example just I drawn for showing what is a dead state. So, this is an automata which will accept a set of all possible strings starting with A. Okay, so when we can say a particular string is accepted, suppose I am taking AA, I need to check whether AA, the string AA is accepted by this particular DFA. It will start from the starting state and it should reach the final state. Okay, then only we can say that particular string is accepted. Okay, so I am taking AA, so starting from Q0, Q0 on A goes to Q1, then Q1 on A goes to Q1 only. Okay. It is not reaching to Q2. Okay. So, we can't say AA is accepted by this particular automata. Okay. Here I am writing A. If I am writing A here also, then Q0 on A goes to Q1. Q1 on A goes to Q2. So, we reach the final state. So, we can see AA is accepted by the automata. Okay, but in this case, you need to check whether it is DFA, it is not DFA, why Q1 on A is going to Q1 and also to Q2. So, a state on the same input symbol is going to more than one state. Okay, transition of Q1 on A, okay, state Q1 while seeing the input symbol A, Q1 while seeing the input symbol A, it is going to Q1 itself. And also to the same input symbol, it is going to Q2 from Q1. Okay. Okay, state on input symbol is going to more than one state. So, this is not a DFA. Okay. So, I am just cutting this thing. So, now this is DFA. Okay. State. So, Q0 on A is going to Q1. Q1 on A is going to Q2. Here, B comma A means either B or A. Okay. It is moving to Q2. So, A is accepted. Okay, so I already told you while taking each and every state in the DFA, you need to show the transition on all input symbols. Here Q0, you show the transition on A. You didn't show the transition on B. Okay, so if you are not able to show the transition, just draw the, draw the transition and represent a dead state. Okay, so what is a dead state? For this is Dead state is a state from which we can't reach the final state. There is there any moment from Q3 to Q2? Can you reach Q2 from Q3? No. Q0 to Q3. From Q3 there is no moment. So this is a dead state. So dead state is a state from which we can't reach the final state. Such states are known as dead state. Okay. So while constructing a DFA, you need to consider two cases. One is whenever we are taking a state, you need to show the transition on all input symbols. Here I show the transition of a and B from Q0. Here I show the transition of A and B from Q1. Here I show the transition of A and B in Q2. Here also in Q3 also you can mention. Okay. Then one more thing you need to take care. From any state on a particular input symbol should go to only one state. So Q0 on A is going to Q1 only. Not to any other state. Okay. So state on a particular symbol, input symbol 
should go to only one state that is dfa okay so in the next video i will explain you how to construct a dfa